Hey, we are already in 2023 and we can start preparing for the first Apple presentation this year. For the past few years, Cupertino Spring release has been quite diverse. This one, however, may be a bit more simple and straightforward. Although that doesn't mean there will be no surprises. Question for you, is there any Apple product that you want to see this March? Please answer in the comment section below. Hi friends and welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of latest Apple news information tech rumors and reviews make sure you subscribe hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video this one is powered by moth check out their origami inspired iphone ipad and macbook accessories get a discount via digital markings now let's go If you haven't seen my previous video about everything that should come from Cupertino in 2023, now is the right time to take a look. As I've mentioned there, the upcoming Apple keynote has a potential to become one of the biggest Mac releases ever. Initially, as it appears by Bloomberg's articles, Apple has been planning to feature new MacBook Pro models in late 2022. This may have caused disappointment to some, while on the other end, it gave hope for a longer time frame for further improvements. Now, while there were instances where we got new MacBooks in January, most probable announcement date for Apple's latest the smackbooks for professionals is likely going to be march or this spring as far as february goes it's not common but we really don't know what's on tim cook's mind back in 2021 when apple showcased two new macbook pro models it represented the true refresh with newer bulkier design bigger mini led pro motion ready displays the notch with better front-facing camera amazing speakers more ports magsafe connector and new keyboard but true improvement was the power within. M1 Pro and M1 Max processors were mind-blowing in terms of performance and power efficiency. Anticipating their successors inspired curiosity and excitement. The first glimpses of the next-gen silicon were revealed in June previous year with subtle performance comparable to the M1, with maximum amount of memory and memory bandwidth being the most obvious ones, along with two graphics cores extra. While prediction for the M2 Pro chip include 12 CPU cores and option to go as high as 20 GPU ones and 48 gigs of unified system memory, M2 Max benchmarks have already been leaked. Back in November 2022, a pair of mysterious and unreleased Macs have been spotted in Steam's usage data. Then we got the first benchmarks results for M2 Max a 12-core CPU with up to 38 GPU cores and up to 96 gigs of unified system memory. Comparable to M1 Max, 10 cores, 32 graphics ones and 64 gigs of maximum memory. But the story about MacBooks doesn't end there. Right after the arrival of the latest MacBook Air previous year, articles about bigger version in 2023 have begun to appear. According to information that we have, the new mainstream model with increased screen diagonal to 15.5 inch, although previously rumored as 15.2, will be powered by M2 and M2 Pro processors contrary to 13.6 version which only offers M2 variations. If we are to trust CEO of Display Supply Chain Consultants, Ross Young, this new MacBook Air may arrive this spring. As far as other details goes, we can hope to see similar design line of 2022 counterpart. Upgraded speakers, display with the notch and 1080p camera, MagSafe and bigger trackpad. Looking forward to something more than standard LCD doesn't seem reasonable to me, to be honest. Now, if if we exclude potentially new color variation of iPhone 14 lineup, it's time for more confusing part. We've been listening about the Mac Mini with M2 and M2 Pro silicon for a long time, and most recent articles suggest how these computers will finally arrive in 2023, but no sooner than the last quarter, even if it will still carry the same old design as it's been with us for more than a decade. 
While I don't mind this, I'm optimistic that there is still a possibility to see these miniature desktops a bit earlier. In the best case, in March, another prediction that I believe it could happen would be the seventh iteration of the iPad mini. But once again, news from more reliable sources are claiming that the end of the year is more probable, or worse, leaving Q1 of the next year as a possibility too. What can I say? Forget about the iPad mini. Finally, at one point we've heard how Cupertino Giant may unveil the first ever AR VR headset at this time of the year. But Ming-Chi Kuo, one of the most prominent Apple analysts, now believes that we may see nothing till fall. As I said in my previous video, AR VR device predictions for the first quarter have seemed sketchy to me since Apple needs to introduce all new operative systems specifically designed for this headset. As I've said, without WWC first to feature all its software capabilities, it would just be be odd. Or maybe I'm wrong and maybe I just expect too much from its operative system in the first place. In any case, Quo now seems certain it may come later, between September and November. Truth to be told, I have no other product from Apple that I can think of for this part of 2023. Although rumors are just rumors, and as we are getting closer, we will get more accurate info. Till then, make sure you subscribe, press the thumbs up, and turn on all notifications. Thank you so much for watching this Mocking Channel. My name is Marco, talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.